So let's go ahead and get started then. Um, Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to teach at the part using IR vision and uh, single view uh, vision process. Then we're going to come over and modify the program to use your process and run it in its picture. Okay. Yeah. So first thing we're going to do is uh, we'll go to menu and go to IR vision. Oh, I should probably do the big screen for that, yeah. yeah. Menu, IR vision. And then uh, we're going to have uh, to select the V type. So we're going to do a, a vision uh, process tool. So that's number three. And now we're going to create one. So create. we can give it a name like, uh, let's just call it part. You said part? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so uh, we can okay that. All right. And then, uh, we'll mo yeah, now we're going to edit that. Too. So, yeah, this is very much like we did last week when we were doing that, just teaching it apart. So, uh, uh, first thing we're going to do is tell what, what com camera calibration we're using. So, uh, we'll just bring down class calibration. Uh, which one is that? Oh, the you're gonna have to scroll up to the top. Sorry. Oh, okay. Is that the bottom one? Yeah. There it is. Yep. And then, um, it's gonna bring in the camera and it's now snapping the picture. So we can adjust that a little bit. It's a little dark, so maybe a couple, bump it up a couple. That's probably, uh, that's perfect. That's probably pretty good. So let's leave it there. And then, um, okay, the other thing is we're going to have to set the user frame. So the other things, you know, you can look at their, their things, they have particular uses. But right now, we just need to set the user frame. So that, don't go too far, that's right there. So this is the user frame that's being used in the program, not the calibration user frame. So we're just going ahead. Uh, and we're using zero in the program, so you can select zero. All right, so this, this isn't completed, but uh, we're going to come back to it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull up the tree and go to that uh, GPM, uh, Geometric Pattern Match tool. Okay, and if you remember, we're going to teach it. So. And that, we're going to change the uh, position of that uh, field of interest. It's easier to use the <laughs> cursor buttons than the numbers, I think. I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I just never have a... Uh, I think you can use that one just go up. So, and you can use the shift key to make that all fast. Well, either way. And actually, if you pick A, <laughs> you don't like those. No, I don't know so why I'm hitting it like that. Uh, I had to use uh, yeah, numbers on I tell you what, let's zoom in on this. Uh, go to 100% and just see how close we are to that. And let's bring in those sides a little bit. The sides a little. No! I'm going to screen. Just kidding. <laughs> Uh, yeah, not too close. I mean, but I think it's got to come down a little bit. Just too. a bit, yeah. So, uh, okay, that, we'll, we'll accept that. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know. I never use those. I always use the numbers, um, and you know the relationship of the numbers to that, right? Yeah, so, I believe so. So, like eight is the top center, sure. and you can bring that down a little. Actually, that looks good, doesn't it? That doesn't look too bad. So let's go ahead and OK that. All right, oh, I before think I bring six and a little more, if you switch nah, to six. No, we, we, we'll call, we'll call <laughs> it good. I'm going to do it again. OK, so um, it appears it's found it OK. Should I um, switch over to this so we can see oh, it? Oh, right. Uh, yeah. Should I readjust this since part of it kind of? I yeah, let's reteach that. 
so just hit teach we'll give a warning here and go ahead and okay this and I'll just zoom in on that and what was it we were missing it was yeah. that side I think that all right that'd probably be good let's okay that and that looks pretty good yeah. Okay, now let's do a snap and find. So snap. And then find. And then let's bring up the results and see if it was able to find one. So it did so, and it's like 100% score. So let's go ahead and change our threshold. I mean, because we're, we're, we're able to see this so well in this process. Let's go ahead and change that threshold up to like... 90%. And let's do another snap and find. Snap. And find. All right, and I found it okay. So the last thing we've got to do is we've got to go back to that, that the main process. So back to the single view. Um, your, uh, your vision. vision process. And then uh, we're going to do a snap and find here. So we're going to snap. Now what's the difference between doing a snap and find here and in... Well, we're going to set the position, the reference position on this part. Now we have to do it in the main tool. So all we saw in the last, in, when we were in the GPM tool, we just saw that it could do this. Alright, all right, so but if we, if we scroll down to the bottom of this page, we're going to set the uh, reference position, so we'll just hit set. I think we're missing it a little bit. Try. There we go. And uh, so now it's set. So we have a process now that's complete. So we can um, actually get the graph. We can go ahead and. Uh, exit from here so we're gonna hit uh, end edit okay uh, and just just a good question so these numbers right here are basically just saying it within reference to right to the yep. robot exactly. yep okay so so we're gonna hit uh, f5 for end, ed end edit and then we're gonna save and exit okay so now we have a process called part so I tell you what, let's uh, switch roles here and I'll uh, do the teaching um, of, the, uh, of the part, I mean, of the touching up of the part and then we're going through. Okay. Okay. So I tell you what, um, I'll try to keep it. I'll just do my best in doing this. All right, so um, go ahead and, and bring this over. And uh, go to, uh, okay, so uh, go to, uh, we're gonna uh, hit the uh, select button. And we are gonna run this program here, so just hit here. Well, I tell you what, let's start at the very beginning. Uh, go ahead and do the very beginning. This is easy. And, uh, and put this in step. And then let's 
go ahead and run it up to this point. So. Right, so move it off to the side. And then um, the next line that's kind of uh, oh, it's opening the jaws, that's okay. Run that process. Oh, we never changed the process. So let's cursor over to that. And we're, we're going to hit choice and we're going to put in there or target. And the same thing on the next line. This is going to change that to there. Alright, let's say now, so we can speed that back up. And then let's go forward. And I'll tell you what, uh, go ahead and take forward. Uh, let's, get up, let's get back to the main program. Let's just take a step off. Okay. And uh, let's start over. I'll hit the shift button and let's just continue. Start over. So this is kind of its drop off point. So let's try this. Uh, so I didn't find, it actually has a loop to go back to the beginning, but it, and it didn't find a part because there's no part there. So right. it just. We have two, it, it found the next one and grabbed the next one. So let, yeah, let's go ahead and put two up there. And let's run that again. Yeah, I just push 
should be a thing where you can insert a sound and make it so where it like takes a picture. Yeah. Like the camera goes. So it was able to point to that part. Mm -hmm. And uh, now it's gonna run that process again. So it's a look back to the beginning of the program. It's a look. And it uh, sees that it's still another part of the program. I can visually recognize that and then go out and grab that, like if you throw out a domino, it would keep, it just stop. Or a link on the room. <laughs> or a jangle. <laughs> that would be cool. Alright, so that's that's basically how that, that uh -huh. works. Can I just take a look at it? Yeah. When, when you want to say call 